Hey guys, Mike back here. We're going to continue with our Let's Play of Excalibur. Uh, last time we left off, uh, I died to this last boss here, so we're going to see if we can uh, do this a little bit better this time around. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, most of these Let's Plays, I'm going to try to do uh, games that not a lot of people have Let's Played yet, or at least uh, I don't think a lot of people have Let's Played, or just personal favorites of mine. Uh, you won't really see... Uh, I don't believe, at least at the time being, uh, any Final Fantasies or anything like that. There's just so many Let's Plays out there to my really good people. I don't really see the point, to be honest. Um, I might try to do a few, but again, if I did do them, um, I would not do uh, Let's Plays that involved a lot of research and things like that. I would kind of prefer to do Let's Plays where I can kind of just wing it and let you guys enjoy me failing sometimes. and. Uh, kind of just experience the game for the first time. As I mentioned before, I've never played this game before. Uh, as you can probably tell, I just got killed. <laughs> I've never really played this game before, so I'm kind of uh, excited to uh, play it through and have uh, you guys observe me attempt to do this properly. Right now, I don't seem to be doing so well here. Uh, we'll try... Uh... Wow. Okay, this is very difficult. These guys seem to be... Uh dodging almost every attack. It's very... See, the reaction time of old video games just seems to be so much faster. Um, there's not really any cues and no special abilities to save your life, things like that. Um, not saying... I don't want to sound like I'm just an old school gamer purist at heart. I do think that some of the newer games are pretty incredible. Um, the graphics alone on some of the, the, the more recent games is just amazing. It's kind of amazing to really think about how far video games as a whole have come in the past, I don't know, 10, 15 years from, you know, originally playing Atari uh, and, and uh, Pitfall, things like that, to where they are now. Um, it's just it's just amazing that this industry does what it does and so well. It seems like uh, video games more so than movies and things like that seems to seems to at least attempt to stay true to its original fan base. I think that because they understand as a whole that they need gamers to really enjoy the games that they're playing. It's not really like the movies or uh, television like that where there's a diverse really population of, of people that, that enjoy their entertainment. Gamers are a pretty unique uh, brand as a whole I think of individual that there's not too many people that would spend as much money as we do on games on a movie and things like that. When you think about the cost of games uh, being, you know, $60, $60 now, um, it's pretty uh, pretty amazing that, especially I guess if you want to call today's market anything, people are still out there spending money on video games as opposed to, uh, um, I guess, letting the market collapse. One of the major things I was afraid of was that as the, damn it, sorry, eh, should pay attention to what I'm doing here. As the market kind of collapsed in the in the U.S. recently, and people started to lose their jobs, unfortunately, that gaming would start to suffer as a whole. I guess in the long run, games don't really matter, obviously, compared to you know people's well-being and things like that. I'm not saying games are more important, obviously, but I was a little concerned that we were going to see a, a regression, kind of back uh, that quality was going to kind of fall off, and instead, what we were going to see was a lot of party games that the Wii, unfortunately, has become synonymous with. I personally believe there's not too many hardcore gamers I know that really truly enjoy the Wii. Um, I'm not saying that they don't exist because you know obviously they do but I, I guess uh, this is the second time I'm talking about the Wii. I do I was really irritated with it. I'm still pretty pissed off to be quite honest comparable to like the Xbox or the PlayStation 3. It just seems like Nintendo had such a great chance to have a product that opened up gaming as a whole to the entire community and kind of blew it, to be honest with you, when they made all these cheesy games that are just utter crap and then marketed them all for, you know, 40 or 50 bucks, however much a Wii game goes for now, um, as opposed to really taking the opportunity to put together some high-quality titles that everyone enjoys. I kind of mentioned that my folks actually got a Wii recently, and uh, they are asking me for game recommendations and things like that. So I kind of try to turn them on to some of the games that I think that they would enjoy. The only person that's really played games in my family besides myself is my dad. And let them know that, you know, that got him the new Mario, things like that. Mario Galaxy, which I thought was a pretty good game. But the one he actually liked the best, which I was pretty impressed with, was uh, Okami. If you haven't played that game, that's a great... Uh, I guess it was originally released in the PlayStation 2 or GameCube, I forget which one. And it's a really, really cool game. It just kind of uh, combines the idea of an RPG 
uh, in, into uh, a really interesting storyline. It's got kind of like a cell shading look to it, a lot like uh, Legend of uh, Zelda Wind Waker on GameCube. I'm getting a little bit of lag here, so I might have to edit some of this video up a little bit here. But uh, it really was a great game. If you haven't played it, I would definitely try to pick it up. Actually, I read today also that they're thinking about making a second Okami. I don't forget forget which which system it's going to be for, but hopefully it maintains a lot of the same uh, that the original had. You know, just great gameplay um, and uh, allows people to just kind of enjoy it for what it is. Let's see here. Other than that, um, if there's any recommendations or suggestions that you guys have that you want me to play, any games that you haven't seen Let's Played in a while, or um, certain games that you feel that like I think I, you think that I would enjoy that I haven't spoke on about, more than happy to do it. At least now, while uh, I'm first starting out, I know that a lot of people, as they get to do more and more Let's Play videos, their schedules get kind of packed, um, and that the amount of time they have for actual the games that they want to play is kind of reduced obviously by people who do a lot of requests and I got no problem with that I'm more than happy oh my god see that's another thing that I love about old games it's kind of a love-hate relationship is just getting knocked off platforms not to diverge again here from my topic but getting knocked off platforms is like the number one I think boss in all of old Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Genesis games. It's just platforming all the way up the stage and then getting knocked off the last second here. And I'm really hoping I'm towards the end of this because this is a really long level with a lot of elevators. And I don't have much life left here, so we're going to try to be a little bit careful right here. Also want to mention again just how incredible this music is for the 8-bit era. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a really hard jump. I just love the way the music sounds in this. It's got that kind of cool uh, techno beat that you don't really hear much anymore of. Um, and just kind of creates an environment that is synonymous with what's going on. I don't really know the story of this game either. Uh, I think it's got to do with some sort of, as I mentioned before, looks kind of like a Highlander type of movie or game. What, see, what was that? Where'd that guy come from? That was ridiculous. He just fell from the sky for no apparent reason. Unbelievable. So incredibly just frustrating, I guess. Come on, there we go. Let's do it. One more. Right, more moving platforms, that's good. I'm sure I'm gonna get hit by one of these flying guys with a jetpack, yep. Come on, we need some life. Almost there. I think, I hope. Can't possibly much more longer than this. No, 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 what is that? That's ridiculous. That's insane. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that, guys. Unfortunately, not too much got accomplished in this video. Uh, we got about a minute and a half left here. We'll see how far we get doing this video, but looks like we're going to pick this up on part 5. Uh, I don't know what you guys feel about people off-screening gameplay. Uh, I personally don't really care for it. I feel like if I'm watching a Let's Play, I want to see as much as I can. At the same time, I understand like during an RPG, if you're just going to be grinding, people don't really want to watch that, and I got no problem with that. But in terms for like an action game like this, I got no problem putting on my uh, attempts at this game and uh, hopefully uh, eventually success of it. I think this might have been a kind of a tough first Let's Play game. I think the next one I'm going to do will probably be the original Ack Razor. Uh, fair warning on that, I have never beaten the original Ack Razor, ever. I've tried replaying it really recently and just got utterly irritated by the last sequence of bosses, which I think is like one of the most difficult sequencing events ever outside of, uh, I don't know, I can't really think of any comparison right now, but the fact that you got to run through them all uh, all in a row, especially that stupid Ice Dragon boss. I think that's an Act Razor 1. It might be an Act Razor 2, actually. Look, why are there three guys now? They keep spawning all over the place. Sorry. But that's probably going to be the next video our series going to do. I'm going to play this Excalibur until it's beaten. Uh, and then uh, we'll uh, see where uh, the next one takes us. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I uh, hope you guys had fun.